Bow, 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 bow. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to some more It's Never Sunny in Duskfall. I'm the host, Game Master. Eric, Internet Sensation Vulgaris. Internet Sensation Vulgaris. <laughs> yes. yes. The Sensation. The Sensationalist. So, welcome to the Sensation Nation. <laughs> oh, God, I'm never John saying that again. John Cena. Yeah, um, please don't. Yeah. So, I'm doing great. I played some Pendragon this morning. Um... I love Pendragon. That's a fun system. You should definitely go watch that over at Silent Osiris's um, Twitch VODs if you haven't already. But that's enough about me. Kelsa, Kelsa how are you doing this fair morrow? <laughs> morrow? Fair uh, morrow. I'm doing pretty well. I'm excited to play some Blades. Uh, I might love Blades. I might love Blades a lot. Uh, I may really enjoy playing Jewel. And uh, to get into character, uh, you know, I uh, have a beer. So... Nice. Cheers. I have a goblet of wine, apparently. Of wine, apparently? Jeebus, mm -hmm. Eric. <laughs> <laughs> You've been setting your alcohol of... standards really high. Wine, apparently? <laughs> like, like, I'm not sure what it is. Uh, it's fine. Uh, so, yeah. I'm excited to play this morning, afternoon, whatever, whatever time it is. So know what time it is it's time for blades paul what's up man how are you doing today uh i i'm doing great i just like came in from work and my hair is all wet and then i got peer pressured into trying to make a bun on top of my head yeah, like, man. And, it's great, and it's wet. and it's terrible what hair is the best uh, for that though super easy is it raining up yeah. up in your up in the uh frozen north of darkness and shadow uh not yet yet but it's supposed to and then it's supposed to turn to snow it's already it's snowing here rad. it's raining a little bit here i mean you, it never snows you say it. rad but really it's just like welcome to the start of four months of darkness and cold and misery four yeah darkness darkness ah, and that's and... way more metal but it's it's canada so it's like christian metal uh, so, <laughs> you've noticed in metal yeah. and uh for those those longtime fans you may have noticed that um Estani's not here today and been replaced by someone half as pretty i see what you did there hey uh hi everybody this is dr record you know me um but you don't know that my lighting is barked um and so i can't put up my sheet or you i would be enshrouded in darkness but my sheet is semi up because things that are back there, you know, uh, my sex toys, um, my swing, uh, gotta, gotta, you know, preserve the, I got an honor double. Um, we all have honor doubles and, uh, mine is the cutest. Um, and, uh, I just beat, uh, Kelsa and Siv also, uh, that did happen. no, my honor doubles coming apart. No, no, it fell apart. No. Just like uh, real life. You have new honor, just like that Civ yeah. game. Oh, uh, I crushed you. <laughs> uh, it's true. Anyway, yeah. now I'm going to be committing to this bit again. I'll be playing Adric Aaron, um, my fill-in for one of these people when they're missing character. Uh, who, uh, last we spoke with him, was uh, getting demon a uh, demon uh uh there were demons there was a demon sorcerer lord um yeah in your house in my house um he took over my mentor's body ghost body um and he has to listen to my orders but also he's like mortal do what i say or i will you know do demon sorcerer things to you yeah you're not really like technically you're in control but Technically, you're also not in control. You know what I mean? Like it's it's it's, it's like, like one of those like it's like the genie wants to get free kind of things. So yeah. like he helps you, so, but but so everything. Don't make any careless wishes is basically. Yeah, the... he can't physically hurt you. Perfect. I'm sure I found right. that out by now. Yeah, he can't physically leave where he's at, but it doesn't mean his friends can't. Right. So that's, um, yeah. Uh, I have um, 
no idea what's happening in the Never Sunny and Duskfall story apart from the episodes that I appear in. So I'm going to leave it up to the other cast members to figure out why I show up today. Makes sense. You might. You probably were pretty busy with the whole like you know demon lord. Demon, yeah, demon you know. lord. When you got Kotar, um, breathing down your neck. Sometimes yeah, you you fail to to see in the newspaper that um, our crew now owns another tea place in Brightstone called the Venetian. Oh man, tea places are all the rage. Yeah. You know. You know what? They kind of are. I mean, I wasn't kidding. Yeah. So. Bum, 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 bum. Who wants to do previously on just to recover some stress? Anybody? Or uh, I could do it for fun. Yeah, why don't you do it? Yeah, do it. I mean, uh, um, I'm I don't have any stress, and I think you do. So yeah. So previously on, it's never sunny and dusk fall. Uh. We made we we opened our our Brightstone uh, tea house called the Venetian uh, by by smuggling a whole bunch of drugs in it uh, and then all the blue coats apparently like to hang out there, uh, but they're they're cool uh, and and luckily we have our our uh, muscle lady Jewel to to. Uh, like give them the evil eye and like threaten their children or whatever I- I'm not sure exa- exactly what she did I think that the children yeah. threatening was kind of implied uh, I didn't threaten the children directly I I just uh, I want to be there. clear here <laughs> for the record <laughs> the record your I honor you threaten anybody's children uh, I may have threatened them directly or indirectly and maybe they got the impression that I eat babies but that's neither here nor there. Uh, yeah, I mean, but, what can uh, you do? Yeah. Right. The, the Venetian was a, a smashing success, uh, which then got countered by our Ten Penny Courts Theater having the worst theater troupe in all of Duskfall, putting on the terriblest shows uh, imaginable. Uh yeah, so it wasn't that's a great start. Good, but it's gross food, so who gives a shit, right? Like, like wasn't a great start at all. Was a real yeah. bad start, actually. Real bad. Real bad start. So uh, I think that's going to be like mostly a front for our other stuff. But, uh, you know, we'll see. Um, there was some discontentment on, on the part of Seer about uh, some of the people that uh, we're in bed with. He thinks we're having a menage, uh, way too many. Uh, and and uh, he wants a bigger piece of the pie. Yeah, and sounds about right. Uh, luckily, no demon showed up yet, so we have that going for us too. Yeah, man, that sounds like that would be the worst time for a demon to show up. <laughs> Cut to uh, yeah. Um, well, I'm I'm not actually sure if if we have a plan for for a next job already, because we just kind of like we're successful in a bunch of shit and then fucked up Crossfoot. Uh, the the ten penny. Yeah, court. you really you really did. That's definitely <laughs> yeah, true. We really did, but also we like like it's been our our like neglected child. Like we had that place and then we just never went there or did anything there. It's also true. That's also so, completely accurate. Uh, so I, I don't know if you want to like do something for for it, for that, or if you want to just go crazy and go to the what's the place, the Lost District, or uh, do you guys have any plans of, of what you want to do? Because if if you, we don't write at this minute, I think we should see what downtime stuff. Because um, I think it's fair to give uh, Adric a couple oh, things of downtime, sure. since he's been kind of busy at work, and I want to know what this at work kind of looked like. Okay, well, um, so I at the end of the last episode, I managed to make some progress in discovering exactly what was going on with um, the eye artifact, and I learned um, through some successful uh, roles the. Uh, Way back when 
the apocalypse thing happened, um, there was a powerful human sorcerer, um, and then he done did died, and a bunch of people um, split up his powers or soul or something, you know, it's hard to, it's hard to specify into various artifacts because they wanted to wield his power. Um, and maybe that was working out back then, but now he's like, yo, I'm coming back. And the way to do that is to get all my other pieces together. Cause then I can, you know, I can come back fully, um, after 10,000 years, uh, and, and defeat the power Rangers. So, um, it's about right. Yeah. <clears throat> and so now I've got a rather large chunk of responsibility for preventing that from happening. Um, or helping. Yeah, whichever. Yeah, uh, I mean, Adric has read enough books to know that the uh, crony who helps the Dark Lord ascend to power never actually gets the promised reward. Um, you know, they never That's get to be the... Fair. That they never get to be the right hand. Um, mm -hmm. This guy's probably all like, "Yes, assemble my pieces, and you will be the most powerful." No, no, you're gonna like throw me in a volcano as soon as you're fully assembled. Um, That's so, the final piece is throwing you in a volcano. Don't you know that? Yes, sacrifice to the volcano. Yeah, God. dude. Wow, I just realized the special forces then of the Sparkrites are quite literally Power Rangers. Okay. Okay. Oh. That's <laughs> they're the people responsible for the electro fences. So they're quite um, literally power. They, they have rangers. like color coded jackets. Power rangers. Yeah. Come on. Come on. <laughs> All right. Well. All right. No, it's funny. I, I, yeah. I, I appreciate it. Um, so, yeah. What has my uh, downtime look like? I have a. Uh, uh, from character creation, I have a relationship. Um, that is negative, uh, but it's with a demon. Um, so I think that one of the things that I've done is actually try and go talk to them to see if they know more, uh, even though they're my rival. Um, or we could make that the show. Like, hey, I need some muscle because I'm going to go talk to my rival who doesn't like me, but I need to know I'm questions. Also a demon. He's also a demon, by the I way. I want to talk to my rival. Yeah, definitely. That sounds good. Yeah, that sounds like... What's his name again? Her name. Let me see on the character sheet. Their name? Yes. Um, so it's from the Whisper character creation, um, where you choose... You just don't have it in Roll20. Um, I think I put it down. I'm pretty sure I did. Did you? I didn't see it. I just opened up the character sheet to talk. Um, no, you have shady friends. It's all empty. Ah, crap. Um, okay, well, from the character, it's it's on the character. Oh uh, yeah, it's it's Satara, right? Yeah, out. It, you want to chill with Satara? Yeah, I think. Well, I need to. I need to. This guy is like a demon sorcerer lord thing. He's a human, but he's also demonic. Look, I need answers. Um, the next person that I'll probably go ask is the hooded proprietor. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we can just. Maybe I just knock on the door of their old house. They have a new house. I'm coming to find my the guys that I know that have muscle. I'm looking yeah. specifically for Jewel. Because uh, we we left. Um, so we're hunting down where Satara is. Yeah, we we left. Um, All right, cool. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. I put it on my character sheet. Why aren't I looking at that? Uh, we left. Uh, where are the notes that I put down? What are even notes? What what are notes? What are thoughts? No, I I thought I put down like what the what other names of everybody besides Costa was. That oh, sorry guys. What is role playing? Costa in where? Who are dice? The, the people who had a stake in our uh in, in the painted lady. It's it's Staja oh, and everybody. Brill are the other two. Thank you, Staja and Brill. Those who I was trying to remember the names of. So what I was saying was uh, we put Costa, Staja, and Brill in charge of the Painted Lady while the rest of us moved over to the Venetian. 
So when you go knock on the door of the painted lady, they will give you direction to the Venetian. You have to go to Brightstone. Yeah. Boy, yeah, that'd be really good. So you want to go to Brightstone, dude? Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, is that, let's... Is that a big deal? Well, um, kind of. Like, going to Brightstone is kind of annoying. Um, you have to, like... Like, Brightstone has a kind of, like, papers, please kind of thing set up on the bridges. Uh, oh, to basically man. to keep the riffraff out. Oh, because it's such a nice place. Yeah, it's a nice yep. place. Yeah. Well, I am... A scholared, uh, 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 I have a PhD in, so surely, uh, uh, I can get into Brightstone. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, <laughs> Maybe not. I, I, that's probably my first thought, actually, is of course they'll let me in, so I just go to the bridge. Um, and, you want to and- convince the guards to let you over because you have a PhD? Yes. What do you yeah. mean? I need special clearance. Yeah, go I ahead. I am a doctor. Yeah, go ahead and go ahead and roll here. But uh, you tell me what you're using here. Is this command? Are you like commanding them because you're a doctor, or is this like consorting or swaying? You know what? In your head, what do you think this looks like? Um. Uh. Hmm. I guess it. I guess it's the closest thing on this list of things is command, but. Really what I'm doing, I guess to, to my character, I don't even see what the issue is, right? Like, I don't feel like there's any sort of persuasion that I need to do. I'm just telling them I'm a doctor and then, you know, then they're like, well, I'm not sure that that's, I'm like, well, what do you mean? I'm a doctor. Um, what, you're trying to keep the riffraff out. I went to college. Uh, that sort of thing. Completely forgetting that your jacket is like stained with soot and whatever from your various experiments and you know you're missing an eyebrow or something you know that doesn't even cross your mind no it doesn't um so what's my oh, position okay. sorry uh it's controlled uh okay. controlled standard controlled standard. so yeah like the guards you know like the um uh, he's probably got you know he he's a guard he's uh he's a little bit there's three types of guards there's the um, has beens, could have beens, and would bees. This guy is a. Uh, let's roll a d6. Okay, he's a has been. So he's ro- He's a washed up old dude. Uh, he's like, oh, young man, I can't let anyone cross without the proper paperwork. I'm oh, going to have to see some. I don't believe that you have a PhD. Here's Offense, my you don't look like that right type here. PhD type. <laughs> I take and... out my framed doctorate. It's oh, right you literally here. have a you carry around your framed your framed uh accurate accolades along with all of my whisper gear i must have a pack so might as well also be like behold my doctorate i figure you've got like this big satchel that is like all your doctoring supplies or your whisper supplies or whatever and just like in Controlled, there yeah controlled standard start there all right all right Ah, I only if only you had a fine PhD, then it would be controlled great. He looks at it. Uh, he's like, "This looks fraudulent." In fact, I'm going to confiscate it. What? This is mine. You can't just confiscate it. I don't let him. Oh, so you get in like a tug of war over it? Yes. Okay. Um. All right, you're in. You're in control here. So I think because this guy's an old dude, you rip it out of his hands, and he's like. No, don't, 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 don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. As he like starts to um go to his like little like booth, his little tow booth on the uh on the gate, and he's gonna do some stuff. What do you do? Uh, I mean, obviously he's gonna like call in some other security guard people. Like how how much is he just walking away? Like, can I just run past him into Frightstone now? <laughs> you want to try to? Sure. Like literally, the Venetian is right there. All right, you're gonna yeah, you're gonna have to um, yeah, but okay, then you're gonna have to go by uh, you have to like climb over the gate or whatever uh to get through, right? Like it's a gate. Okay, oh, this, this is like a checkpoint, right? Oh, oh, like I figured he was just sitting there with like one of those like red like a toll booth, like a fucking like yeah. uh <laughs> like a tr- like a railroad 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, like a turnstile. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No. Like, oh, you want to hop the turnstile. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, as yeah, long yeah, as he yeah. was looking away, I could just leap through. But if it's like a full gate, then I'll turn. No, no, it's it's a fucking full gate, dude. It's right, nice. Then, it's got like, like lions on either side of it. Shit's, shit's banging. All right. Well, in that case, I uh, I can't climb a fence, and I am very recalcitrant to turn into a ghost. Um, when the last time I did that, a demon lord possessed my mentor. Um, dude, he's like, he, dude, he in in your head, man. He's just like, dude, just fucking kill this guy. He's already old. Just get rid of and him. I, and I'm like, throw him yeah. off the bridge. You can do it. And there'll just be twenty it. more guards. Do it. Just use your thoughts. Just use no. Like they There'll won't be come. twenty more they, guards. They won't come. Use your thoughts right now. Force That's them over ridiculous. the bridge. You are so far behind the times. You have it. You're gonna have to trust me if you want us to get. Stay out of my head, by the way. <laughs> Charles, get out of my head. <laughs> get out of my head, Charles. Um, Shut no, out. he's uh, <laughs> he's not. Um, all right. Uh, the old man starts choking. What do you do? Uh, I like I said, I run away. Um, away I've from him. Away. Then he's like, "You're gonna let this man die." I. He's I'm dying. Killing him. I'm killing him for proximity. I can't stop him. Like I don't know how to turn him off. Um. I so I'm trying to. I don't know. I, if you run I, away, this man will die. The voice in your head says. You're killing him. You stop. Uh, I wrap my head in lead. I don't know. What do I need to do here? Um, you're you're inexorably bound to this dude, man. You wanna you wanna you probably need to talk to Satara about that if you can find Satara, if you yeah. get to, if you can get to Brightstone. Uh, actually, you know what I you know what I do, um, to try and stop the demon in my head from killing this guy. Uh, yeah. What do you do? I take out my. <clears throat> this guy's a grandfather. He has three kids. He's actually you know like they're 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 doing okay for themselves. Um, li- growing up in Coleridge, I <clears throat> like his wallet falls out of his pocket and it's like only pictures of his grandkids. It's like blood coming out of his eyes right now. Like, Jesus, of his, he's grasping for you to help him. I can't help him. What do you do? Uh, uh, I take out my uh, ghost catch. Um, your what? You know the the long pole with the circle at the end. Your um, lightning hook. Oh, your, your lightning, lightning hook. hook. As yeah. one yeah. does. And I I put it around my head and turn it on. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying you, to. You just fucking like knock yourself. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. Um. I, I I'm not sure that that's it. Will like it makes an electric ring. It doesn't. Um. It's a man or, catcher. Yeah. So it's like electric. Trying- like that's an electrified man catcher. Yeah. That you're gonna put over your own neck. It's gonna uh, shock trying- you. You know exactly okay. what this thing does. This thing will okay. like basically I, I knock think you the out. Point is to do it in such a way that it's not actually touching him, but like doing a miniature electric fence around his. Own that skin. is my goal. Um, and my understanding was that's basically how it works: is that it creates a, a miniature electric fence by being a big loop, um, which is how it catches ghosts. So I'm hoping that that'll block the demons. Beam into yeah, his- you know that's a, that's a really good idea. How about you roll two d six and take the lowest? Right here's uh, a fortune roll. Okay, uh, that's a I'll really roll. that's a great idea. Just I'll roll two d six and, and take the lowest, which is five. Um, Holy shit! God, all right, damn it. wow. All right, you do it. Um, and and you hear the voice going like, "Wait, no, no, don't do that." <laughs> As it like cuts out, <laughs> no, don't do and, that. Uh, and now you have this man catcher like hovering around you, and I think some some other blue coats show up. Um, being like, sir, is there a problem here as you're, like, holding a man catcher around you? <laughs> yeah, so I think some people want to know what's going on. Uh, well, uh, I thought I saw a ghost, and I was scared. Sir, I'm gonna need you to put that man catcher down. <laughs> is the demon, like, is the guy recovering over there? You don't know, you're too far away now. Oh. You... Um... I am a, I am a licensed whisperer, sir. I am allowed to use this uh, device. I'm trained. <laughs> you want to see some identification? 
Of course! <laughs> holding, <laughs> I hold the thing over my head and reach into my backpack and take out my PhD again. Sir, um, are you... Um, I think one of the blue coat guys is like, I think he's possessed, sir. We should get the spirit um, wardens in here. Is this like a point where I can like spend some stress to like show up and and help him out here? Yeah. Um, I, was like, I, I was just gonna bail him out of out of the blue coats jail, but they like if you want to show up. I mean, you know. Maybe what do you? What's your I, intention here? Um. My intention is to, like, be happen to be wandering by, like, maybe on my way over to Six Towers to visit the Painted Lady or do whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay. And see him doing this, rec- recognize... I, I mean, I think it could have been that you were back at the Painted Lady just after I left looking for you, and they said, yeah. he's looking for you, so he's headed to Brightstone. And you're like, that guy's never going to get in. Um, that could be it too. That's perfect. No stress. Uh, that's fine. Okay. And uh, so yeah, like I, I I'm gonna walk up and I, and this might cause me stress to have one or more of the blue coats recognize me from the Venetian. Oh yeah, yeah. That makes that makes perfect. No, that doesn't cost you any stress. That's that's okay. given. This is, uh, this is all good point, right now. At which point, you know, like I see Adric and I'm like, good been looking been waiting for you adric uh yes uh, and of make course. it very clear to the blue coats that that you know they like, know oh you you you, you, you know this man milady yeah. he's with you that's right i am the official whisperer of this <laughs> jewel <laughs> the man catch her around you <laughs> this is all professional stand back <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so uh, at which point I'll, I'm like I, I'm gonna come up and like I don't want to touch him because he's got like electrified man catcher around his head very delicately balanced but uh, be like next to him and be like we'll just be on our way yes of course on our way across the bridge into Brightstone yeah and then like I'm, I'll, I'll walk him over to the Venetian thank you okay so um... Uh, while we're walking there, um, I still holding the man catcher around my head through the city streets. Uh, I'm casually like, so um, I can't remember. Do I owe you a favor or do you owe me a favor? I haven't kept up on the favors. Uh, like, I'm going to look at him and kind of glance back at the, <laughs> uh, the, 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 the mass of probably gossiping blue coats yeah. and be like, at this point, I think you owe us a favor. Well, I need also, to ask for what a favor. the hell is that? The guard, to- yeah. <laughs> uh, you guys go so- up to the guard, right? You get to the guard. He's uh-huh. perfectly fine. He's like, okay. oh, can I, oh, what can I do for you guys? We're just uh, oh. heading on our way. How's it going, Jewel? Pretty pretty good, Bob. Is there even, like, blood stains on no. him anymore? No, no. You were making me hallucinate, you bastard. I say out loud. <laughs> I'm so, it's your, Joel, is your, is your companion okay? He seems to have oh. some kind of uh, fishing line around his neck. Yeah. I have a neck injury. We are taking me to the Venetian to relax. I need some tea. In his yes, line. I need tea. All right. I mean, you take care now. <laughs> Good to see you, Bob. Glad your grandkids are doing so well. Yeah. You hear, like, the, the sound as, like, the electrified gates open up. Um, they basically like buzz you through, right? Okay, yeah. We just go inside. Ah, oh, and... crap! That link yeah. did not work. You're you're there. What the? That's not even a link. What did you just do? I tried to link an image. Hold on a second. Do you Find know it what, what? That's why do you have brackets? That's not how anything works. What is, what is going on? I don't know why it had brackets. Here, this is much better. Anyways, so you're at the Venetian. Uh, this is what I'm foreseeing in my future. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, it's very, very stealthy. Right? <laughs> you barely notice it. So, uh, Jewel, h- how are you? I was doing fine. What? What is... Why do you have this around your neck? 
So, do you remember when I, uh, as as uh, as my payment for the job, I took the uh, the thing, the eye. Do you remember that? Uh, yeah. Uh, it's actually the artifact of a demon sorcerer. That seems like a bad thing. And now he's in my head and trying to get me to do things. Um, Definitely so I, a bad thing. I, I I put this around my head to stop that. And it kind of worked. Um, by the way, I'm going to need some bolts and screws. Is Seer here? He was good with engineering. Um, yeah, he should be uh, should be around. Anyway, I have this uh, old acquaintance, um, uh, f- friend, rival. She's a demon. Anyway, um, should she'd probably kill me on sight if she saw me, but I need to ask her what's going on. So I was thinking I would hire you guys, uh, or call in a favor, or get a third favor, and we could go talk to her so that I could be not possessed by a demon. Hold on. Just one second. Like, out of character. Did you mention that she's also a demon? Or did yes, you I just did in that? that ramble. Okay, that's what I thought you did, but then I was like, you were rambling? I don't know. So yeah, she's gonna turn to you and be like, so you want to go to a demon to ask for help with another demon? Well, it's not... He was a human, but now he's like a demon sorcerer ghost. Uh... Yeah, like I, I, I think she starts like rubbing at one of the jewels embedded in her face that make up her, uh, uh, her, her ghostbane charm. Yeah, and 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 just doesn't say anything. Uh, and and maybe uh, like after a moment, if Seer does not appear, she's gonna like ask one of the girls that's around to be like. Could, could you um, could you go get Seer for me? All right, yeah, he shows up. He's been like uh, I don't know, like working on the the big old pee boiler that we have. Like it's a it's this massive thing. Like Steve. So you guys are doing out. quite well for yourselves. <laughs> <last> <laughs> like time. a wrench. I saw you. You know, it's a very good idea that you moved away from that place that had the shadow in the basement. Um, that can't be good for your health. Oh, it's super not good for your health. Yes, it's it's very good that you are here now. I inject that stuff into my blood sometimes. Um, Wait, you... I you mean, there's like a fight, like an attracted a giant spider. <laughs> that's, I mean, that giant spider's now my best friend. That's true. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, like, I need to actually work on that clock more to to make them permanently my best friend, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you like, like you mentioned, like you, you mentioned something, like you're like check that in my blood sometimes, and like something about a spider, and she's like, you don't have a big spider, do you? No, uh, just a demon lord. I see her, by the way. Uh, what? Yes, a demon lord. Fuck that shit, dude. You need um, to get rid of that. Yeah, I know. That's why I've got this around my head. By the way, do you think you could devise some sort of neck brace so I don't have to keep my arm in this position? That's starting to go numb. Uh, uh, I mean, I guess if it works. You want to try to whip something up for him? You just yeah. hold it in place. I, you know, sure. I don't need to change anything about it. It's working as it is. Um... Oh, we're going to need some more oh, spare batteries. I put their names on the crew sheet. That's why I couldn't find it on my own notes. Duh. All right, that was not related. We'll just pretend that I have a uh, a broken ghost neck. Yes, that'll make sense. My <laughs> ghost neck is broken. I'm not. Quite... You know, like how you sometimes have like phantom pain when your arm is cut off. Yes, my, I have a. My, fan... my phantom neck is broken. <laughs> No, you see, everybody has a ghost already. They just haven't died. And your ghost can get broken limbs, too. See, the, the average person... The average person... Yeah, you like, fell down the stairs, but you only like hurt your ghost, so it's fine. Charm again, like... Like, what? Oh, God. All right, well, I am looking for help, because if there's a demon talking to you in your head, I don't want you to get fucked by that. 
So yeah, you and definitely super want to make this neck brace work. So if if uh, I I can lead in tinkering, or if you wanna like set me up, or just help me somehow. Uh, I forget how helping works in this system. Um, do I need to be good at something to help you with it? Is basically my my question. No, not at all. Okay. Uh, you you take a stress and you tell me how you help. Okay. I take a stress and I tell you um, how I hold perfectly still and direct your uh, bracing this to my head. Um, and, you know, on the aside, like, oh, and we're probably going to need some spare batteries, uh, but I've got plenty. It's just, you know, we're going to have to hook them up. And uh, uh, if I'm just going to keep this on all the time or until we're done with this little uh, escapade. Um, just, just like slowly build it out to Iron Man suit. <laughs> yes, I'll have a ghost Iron Man suit. Um, boy, that's gonna be really hard to do at without at some point the thing exerting some no, influence. No, no, no. We're not making a ghost Iron Man suit. We're just making the neck brace that I linked in the chat. Um, I don't think. Yo, man, I, um, you think Kotor's gonna be cool with that? No, not even a little bit. Right. Um, I mean, Kotor is being blocked from my head. Is the hope. Um. Yeah, but there's going to be a point where you have to turn it on, right? There's got to be a transfer of power. And you really hope Kotar's not ready for that. You really, really don't want to see him angry. Um, I mean, I figured I... we were literally just bolting the thing that's already on to my neck. Like, so I wasn't for anticipating a transfer of power uh, or a moment where it's off. Um, oh. Besides, you know... Um, uh, then that's fine. This is this will just all be covered under Sierra's Tinker Roll. That's fine. Yeah, Sierra, don't fuck up. Tinker, don't. Yeah, I mean, Sierra, don't. Fuck is up. there any way that I can? I could. Hey, if there's anybody who's reliable with the rolls, it's Sierra. I mean, yeah. uh, re reliable in. I got I got like four dice. What, what bad could happen? I can like push myself or maybe get a Devil's Bar and get five. Yeah, if we really <laughs> want yeah, Devil's Bar out this roll. There's no way that could come back to literally cause us to serve a devil. Quite literally, I... Donald's bargain here. Uh, can I can I do a setup here with a tune, um, where I am like like attuning to the ghost field so that I can see, like help see the connection and like drawing on. Uh, on him where to uh, where to bolt it for the best connection or whatever, like using my knowledge of how Dagger Islands make um, the implanted Spirit Bane charms uh, to... Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Only that's going to be desperate. Because uh, as you're poking around the ghost field, uh, Kotar is going to give you some, some... He has a few words oh, yeah. for you. I'm good. I'm good. I, I love desperate. Kotar. Uh, so is this desperate um desperate standard or Oh yeah, standard, standard. It's just set up. This is easy. You can accomplish okay. that. But is it's under a severe desperate, danger. Desperate. This is standard. Danger zone. Um, danger. You're gonna go into the danger field. Hi, Wayne Harvey. To the Kotor. Mm, um Got a devil's bargain. Sounds pretty no, good. that's a horrible time to do that. <laughs> no, listen to it. So the devil's bargain that I was thinking is maybe uh, by by doing this, it messes up my connection with uh, Mr. Bubbles and my spiders, so that I can't like I, I can't reach out to them without doing. That sounds super good, only now I'm going to have to think of a brand new consequence for a 5 or a 4 that you roll. Uh, <laughs> you can tell me no, that's fair. You no, know? that's good. Alright, I like where your head's at. Alright. Okay. Great minds yeah. think alike. All right. That's fine, but yeah, but that happens. It, it, is it both of them, or one of both them? Both of them. You get to choose? Both. Both? Okay. Bam. That's harsh, but I'll take it as my idea. Boom! Oh crit. Oh my God! Is it a crit? Not. It's not a crit. It's not a crat. It's not a crat. But it is. 
uh, success with uh, no consequence. Boy, so like in the ghost field, it's like um, like our all around Adric is just like this horrible blackness around him, like a miasma of shadow. You look. Uh, um, I definitely want to help you out here, Adric. What's going on is it's not right. Like uh, over yeah, him, no, yeah, like over him is literally like a giant spectral Nazgul, and it's like trying to get at him at any moment. Like a giant, Shoo. like Shoo. like a Macy's like, Day Thanksgiving like figured, parade blimp, like I coming down there's at like, him, like this, like, like the whole time, like slowly. Psychic strings going. Out yeah, yeah, like from his hands. Is, is, that's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like from me to Mister Bubbles and to um, oh. the, the spider that I uh, have named. Oh uh, shit! Me is named. Yeah. Uh, Swift um, Bite. Yeah, and it like, gets it gets close to you. Sorry to interrupt you. Continue. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say um, that Mr. Bubbles is a hull. It goes through you. Yeah, like no, it's like like you're like like getting under it to like to figure out where the nice parts are, and its hands come down, and it's like dretched little ghostly fingernails just go plink 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 as it mm -hmm. severs the uh, connections between you. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, Silver Bite and Mr. Bubbles. All right, come on, make this roll so we can go to break, man. Yeah, tinker roll. Oh, dang, right. is it already break time? What the heck? Well, right. we what started like 40 hours late. Oh, we that's did, right. We did okay. start 10,000 years um, late. Uh, After 10,000 years, we finally turned on the stream. <laughs> we tinker in. Uh, so I'm getting Five. plus one die for any help. Yeah. I'm getting... Improved position or effect? Uh, improved, improved position or effect. What I was going for. Effect. Which is effect? Yeah. Okay. So, what what Should am I at? I think you're at plus one dice and plus one effect. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure this is still going to be desperate. Um, so that would give me a standard effect or a great effect. Well, I, I was thinking. I think that uh, the improved effect makes it from limited to standard. So I think it's desperate standard. All right. I'm gonna push myself for one more. Okay. You can't. Okay, yeah. That means you're not. You're not devil's bargaining, but you're just pushing yourself. Okay. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, all devil's bargains are gonna involve demon shit, and I don't want to. Like, Seer doesn't want to deal I mean, with that shit. Not necessarily. That's not true. That's terrible. They're called devil's bargains, but that does not mean they automatically involve oh, demon shit. Oh. oh they just oh, happened to oh, today. Because. Uh, you all haven't even found Satara yet. Yeah. Yeah, we have not even got like, but once this is in the hey, oh. man, you guys, look at those rolls, fellas. Look at those rolls, dem rolls. Yeah. Look at Go them. fuck yourself, Kotar. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you just outwitted him. Would have gotten away with it. It wasn't for you meddling kids and that monkey of yours. <laughs> All right, you securely fashioned that thing uh, around Adric. Adric, well, this you is have incredibly you have, fa fashionable. Now let's go talk to my demon friend Satara. You have a peace of mind as you are wearing a sort of like man cage, like a Faraday cage over your head. Yeah. yeah. All right. And uh, with that, let's go to our first break. So see you guys in five minutes. <laughs>